Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Capricorn weekly money and career reading from October 14th to the 20th, 2024. Capricorns, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Capricorn weekly money and career, October 14th to the 20th, 2024. <clears throat> Thank you for being here. <coughs> Grab a little tea. I hope you're well. Be on the lookout on the Here Out for the magic word if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading. All you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name and announce it at the end of the month of October. Also, if you're interested in getting early access to the yearly Money and Career 2025 month-by-month -month readings, you can get early access by becoming a member. You'll get access. They will be rolling out starting November. Uh, so if you're interested in that, uh, you'll get access to the yearly readings as well as access to a question during lives, lives that we do every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. And whenever I pop up during the week sometimes where I open, uh, when I open a tarot session. All right, let's get started. Uh, Capricorn, grab your best headphones, earbuds for a better sound. And let's begin. I'm going to pull one oracle card to see what the root of the matter is. See what we need to know in this weekly reading for Capricorn Weekly Money and Career, October 14th to the 20th, 2024. We have the moon. Now this moon is a little bit different than the moon in the tarot. It's about sensitivity, dreams, spirituality. Um, let's see what this is all about. Maybe you're dreaming of something. Maybe you're very sensitive at this moment in that current situation with your boss or with your family. Um, and sort of moving into a, a more spiritual energy at the moment maybe let's see let's see what this is all about let's pull tarot see what is this a moon all about oh okay we have a bunch of cards that popped out there's the moon there we go it's not quite the same but still it's that intuition kicking in that sensitivity kicking in we have the sun the moon and the sun look at that opposite opposite energies, Ten of Swords. Well, you're moving into something positive here with the, uh, with the sun. So maybe you're afraid that there's some shady business going on or something's not clear to you. You, you wanted something to happen. You really desire something. We have the sun. Right? The sun is about success. It's all about positive, positive energies because you believe in something, because you enjoy something, because you bring warmth and positivity, right? And that positivity is going to push you in the right direction. So we have the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sag, um, Seven of Wands on the defense a little bit, defending yourself, protecting your boundaries. Let's see. The Hierophant, interesting. So you're officializing something. You're sealing a deal or you're signing contracts or you're beginning a business. So you're, you're, you get, you're getting the, the documents or um, getting the call back. Someone is giving you... Um, a seal of approval here can be your boss, can be a manager, but can also be a spiritual guide, someone you look up to or someone administ administrative or, you know, an establishment or something like that, that is officializing your job, your business, your idea. Okay. So let's, let's, 
unpack this. Let's see what the moon is all about first. What is this? Why you, it feels like you're sensitive to something and you're waiting for that answer. You're confused, right? With the moon. It's like you're, it feels like you're not quietly, quite aware of something or you don't believe you can take things at face value or something like that. You feel like there's something fishy or let's see what this moon here is all about. This lune. What is this lune all about? Number 32. What is this all about? What is this lune all about? Okay. So you have this six of cups, which tells me that you have been disillusioned. You had options, you've been disillusioned before, and you have the Ten of Swords, which you feel stabbed in the back, something's ending, or you just feel like that was um, someone you couldn't trust or someone you thought you could trust. Now you're setting up your boundaries. We'll pull more cards on that. We have the King of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. Again, you have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. People very confident, very, very social, confident, really don't care about what other people think. They're going to push through. They're going to they're gonna stay in power, stay in power. So it feels like you have an offer there or people reaching out, connecting to you, Page of Cups. Um, but it, it almost feels like Yes, the sensitivity, it feels like it's um, uh, creative or, or something you're dreaming of because I'm connecting this little page of cups with this moon here. Sort of um, naive, right? A little innocence there, head in the clouds. Um, and and really dreaming of something, which is not usually your MO, Capricorn. You're usually very pragmatic, very structured, very organized. Uh, what you see is what you get. You like to be prepared. You're not too much head in the clouds type thing. So maybe that's what's bothering you. You have this page of cups. So I think that there's a new idea here. And... The universe is act, like unexpected. It's unexpected inspiration. It's a surprise. Now, um, it's like, it's, it's a new idea. And it's almost like you want to embrace this. It's a new inspiration. Maybe it's going to be a new adventure and open new doors. It's a big, big push to create. A big push to be part of something very creative, a new creative job. Or, or maybe you're an artist, you're creating something, right? Maybe you're a musician, something like that. It can be any, any type of talent, any type of artistic talent. I'm not going to give the laundry list, right? But it's a big push to create. And so... Are you going to be open to these new ideas? Do you feel like this is something that's not going to work out? Because you've been disillusioned before, something has ended here or someone didn't have your back. But I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, it's really putting you in a new dynamic. Um, and it, it sh it's changing the dynamic. So maybe, maybe this is... Um, you have the sun and the wheel of fortune, right? So this is something that it's a turning point and it's, it feels like it's suddenly something is becoming available. It's a huge change or it's about adapting, adapting to something new that maybe you're not used to, but it's exciting. And maybe you dreamt of this, but you really didn't think it was going to happen. And it's successful. It's it's connecting you to your power. And so this power is going to allow you to express yourself. Like really authentically. To be yourself. To be fully present. 
for the people you care about or the people you're working with. It's a real boost of, of energy, positive energy. Expect new positive energy. And because this is something um, new, maybe that's why you're still waiting for answers. Um, let's see. Let's see where this is going. Push forward, success, allowing this new dynamic to fold in, right? Yet you still have the moon. All right, let's pull some cards to see what this is all about. Um, you're making this a fit. Okay, let's pull the let's pull cards on the moon first, then we'll do the sun. It feels like it's unexpected, and it feels like it's something that you 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 might have to adapt to, almost like emotionally, creativity, creatively. Queen of Cups, water sign, but also listening, other people's up, other people listening, empathy, being there, new idea, learning new, learning process, whole new learning process, rebirth, big change, big change. Okay. And heavy sag here with the uh, Knight of Wands. Uh, it's exciting. It's really exciting. But it is a big change. And so here, this is about conforming to the change. And understanding that this is something you will have to, will have to adapt to. Um, but it's an exciting change. So is this something that you want to do or not? It feels like you have to conform to something with the uh, with the higher fins. Conform to rules or a new structure, like fit in with others rather than innovating or okay, not. It's like it's time to create, but you have to adapt to a very not a very regulated, very ruled, or very conventional business or establishment or, or boss, manager, and it's a big change for you. Okay, so let's see where this is going. We have this Wheel of Fortune. It's an opportunity. It feels like an opportunity out of the blue, but with financial gain. All right, let's see. Um, these just popped out. So again, new, exciting, ambitious, and you've been patient. And yes, again, out of the blue. Now, not out of the blue here. You've been patiently waiting and probably something has stopped or you felt that was not for you, a preceding job, or maybe a person didn't have your back or something. You've been disillusioned on someone or a dynamic or a boss or a situation in your job. Here, there's something out of the blue popping in and it's different and that's why you have to conform and adapt. Okay, what is this? Um, why is this higher fit here? Why is this higher fit here? Why do you have to conform like this? Why is this so different? Let me just put that and then we'll pull cards on the sun. I feel like it's, oh, okay. So bound to something. Oh, maybe it's the opposite. Oh, hold on, hold on. So you're disappointed or bored. Oh, you're tied to something very conform. Okay. So you're tied to something very structured. So maybe you work in government or maybe you have a job that's in an establishment that's very conventional, very structured, a lot of red tape, rules, regulations, all that. And you're moving and out of the blue, 
you're getting an opportunity to work in a whole new different tri- different type of environment that you're not expecting. That's why you have the page of cups. That's why you have the moon. It's something maybe you've dreamt of or may- maybe it's much more um creative than what you've done up to now in this very ruled and regulated. And I feel like you've been tied to a contract or tie, right, right, you've had a contract here or a job or a business and tied to something very, 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 um, not rigid, but uh, ex- extremely structured. Can be a little bit also a toxic dynamic, manipulative or um, micromanaging type style uh, business or establishment or, you know, whatever uh, with this Ten of Swords. And you're letting go of that. It's because you don't want to be in that anymore, which I can totally understand. And now you're opening up, you're expanding your career, Two of Wands. I like that. Um, and maybe this was a little bit, you were bound to this King of Wands, Queen of Wands, very bossy, uh, really not much room to grow, to maneuver because everybody has to sort of stay in their lane and, you know, go with the, go with, uh, all the rules. And, um, you know, it's only progress forward if, you know, every, whenever the, you know, the musical chairs start, right? If someone leaves. All right, so let's see. Yes, and we have this the, the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck, which tells me that you're moving out emotionally. All right, ten of, um, uh, let's see what the sun is all about. So it's happy, though. It's exciting. I like the sun. I mean, the sun is all about happiness. It doesn't get better than that. So... Why are you disappointed? Let me call the sun. I didn't call it. Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? Yeah, I feel like you were disappointed. It's well, there you go. We have the you're leaving you're leaving it behind. You're leaving emotions behind. All right. What are you okay? Patience, balance. This is going this is moving slow. Moving slow, weighing your options because you've been disillusioned. Make sure you fact check, back check everything. It's stressful, carrying a lot on your shoulders. It's it's also, yes, not enough money. Let's see where this is going. I feel like this is all coming out. Yep, leaving that behind. So I'm going to put all that here. And I'm going to go back to the sun you have you you're resourceful you're you're going to make this happen now one card on the sun please positive 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 6 of cups going back to something maybe making a choice having to adapt again and celebrating celebrating being with the right people celebrating again so either you're going back to something or working with kids or you're nostalgic of something queen of pentacles there you are capricorn and let's see what these cards give lots of cards here lots of cards because i feel like you're really moving through a transition here from a government job or and it doesn't have to be government it's just an example from something very structured very rigid and it's taking its time for you to be able to follow your dreams to go out there and be able to be part of that dream start your business create be an artist show your uh, talent you don't have to be an artist but compared to this very um rigid establishment what you're going into and it feels like sort of out of the blue what you're getting into is something really really dreamy and creative and excited creative yeah creative and so uh, let's let's take all the cards we have time to move on you have everything you need with the magician this is a moment where you're you will be in your element. You will be, 
you're, you're master, you're master in what you do. And so you, you have everything to get the job done, to get the position, to get the job, to start the business, to be part of that project. You have it all. You are very experienced, top performer, whatever it is, you're the right person for this dreamy project, whatever it is, comment down below, Capricorn, let me know what this is all about. A lot of competition, a lot of discussions, um, but you're balanced, good for you, you're balanced, and here we have the sun again. So you're moving, really moving into a positive, positive energy and successful energy. Again, we have this uh, little page of cups, there we go, full circle, here's the page of cups with the offer, and here is the Hierophant, and, and for some reason, I feel like this Hierophant is not the same as this. In other words, this is the one you're leaving with a lot of ties and contracts and um, not much room for growth. And um, this time, you are getting um, official approval or signing contracts or that callback or that you know, the the documents, whatever it is, you need to seal the deal, but in something more exciting, more dreamy, and much more creative than what you've all what you've ever done up to now. And so when I say creative, it's gonna be different for everyone. It's gonna be different for each and every one because it can be it can go from you you have a talent, you're an artist in whatever aspect it is, and you're finally revealing your talent to the world, and you have this sort of opportunity out of the blue to be part of a community and and develop your talent or work on your talent or work on artistic projects, whether it be music, art, anything, right? Or or this opportunity out of the blue that really feels like that is something that you're not used to. So it's creative compared to what you used to do or the job you used to be in or the job you're still in now, if that's you know something you're moving forward in, or it's, it's something much more open, open-minded, op uh, creative. Um, it's much more um uh, free spirited right and allowing you to grow and branch out and work on all kinds of things you've never worked on before creative in that way it doesn't automatically mean that everybody's an artist and or a musician right this is something that opens up your sensitivity right and 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 allows you to utilize your you know to dream a little bit and to uh dream new things and to work on new things and have new ideas innovative ideas creative ideas dream right we all have to dream we all have to dream it doesn't mean everything is going to come to life and everything's going to be reality no is it easy? No, but we all have to continue dreaming. That is very, very important because if we don't dream, what's going to happen, right? So we have that success and the hangman that says that maybe the dreamy project or the dreamy opportunity has been on hold for a while waiting for finances, waiting for you for finances. If this is you that have just, has been wanting to reinvent yourself or go into something less structured and more free, um, free to um, offer ideas, free to exchange ideas, to have an input, more of an input, right? It's more that, it's more of an input. Like your word counts, your ideas count. You're going to be able to discuss with people and, and find uh, new innovative ideas or just discuss. And everybody can have an input within the job, the business, the company, whatever it is. And so maybe this has been on hold for a while. And so maybe, maybe also, oh, third, third, um, third, uh, 
option or possibility, it's um, a change of managers or change of boss or direction that comes in to this establishment and really is thinking differently and thinking all new perspectives and opening up uh, the possibilities to this business job, whatever it is that you're in. That's also another possibility, right? A new, a new direction coming in, a new boss, a new manager, new team, or maybe even a new ownership of a company that has a whole new perspective, a whole new philosophy, and it's going to reorganize everything in a different way. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. All right. So let's see if there's one last message for the road. Capricorn, weekly, money and career. Um, too many cards. October 14th to the 20th, 2024. Again, if you're in the mood to support this channel, you can do so by clicking on the join button. That'll take you wherever you wish to go. It'll give you access to, uh, early access to the exclusive um, a yearly money and career month by month readings for 2025. And it will also give you access to the free questions during the lives. Okay, I'm going to take these. I don't know about these cards. We'll see. Or am I taking these? I'm going to take these. Lots of cards. All right, one last message for the road. There's your, there's your um, opportunity. There's either the finances coming in after a period of waiting, waiting for the new managers, maybe mating waiting for the new ownership to come in or this is your new opportunity uh to move into something in, into your dreamy project dream and when i say dreamy you know what i mean it's not it's just something different that's so much more light and open and um open to um different ways and not so rigid so we have the queen of wands the seven of cups and there she is again, that Queen of Wands. The Ten of Wands, the Nine of Wands, pushing forward, create, uh, pushing forward, pushing forward, leaving it all behind, justice. So, you, the, yeah, bringing back balance, bringing back balance to this job situation, career situation. I have a lot of cards that came out. I'm going to take them anyway. Uh, uh, the Hangman, again. Being patient and understanding that what's coming in is moving forward, in a, but it's something you're not expecting. The star, believing, it's all new, page of wands, you're excited, it's ambitious, you're standing your ground though, you're, whole, you're standing, you're, it's also, you're, you're, you're putting your boundaries up because this is something probably that's been in the works for a while, the change, the change, not the opportunity, but the change, in the structure, the management, or something like that. And you have to stand your ground. Two pages again, three pages, the drive, <laughs> determined, even though you're disappointed, uh, three higher fence. Wow, if that doesn't make it official, three higher fence and the queen of pentacles. There you are, Capricorn. So here's your success and here's your drive. And underneath all these cards, there is the sun, which is a real positive, positive movement forward um, in, in the right direction. And that's where you're going to find your dream. I don't like to say dream. You know what I mean. That's where you're going to find what you're looking for and that space where you can express yourself and exist and exchange ideas without someone, you know, explaining to you that you have to stay in your lane. Beautiful, beautiful reading. Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you to each and everyone for sharing your energies, for sharing your journeys. Gratitude 
to each and every one from the bottom of my heart. Gratitude, Capricorn. I want to say that the magic word here is believing. <laughs> believing. Uh, if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put the word believing or I believe down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name and announce it at the end of the month of October. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.